Hello everyone! In this video I have a mixed media process to share with you for the Thompson's Craft Supplies design team. I am using January's gorgeous Heart and Soul kit and I'm going to be painting, decorating, altering, whatever you like to call it, these wooden pieces that come in the kit. So there's three large wooden pieces in this kit. There is this big sort of heart frame or negative heart frame, whatever you want to call that. There is the heart itself. There is also a big sort of solid 12 by 12 wooden piece as well but I'm just sticking with the two heart pieces for this. Now before I started I did drill some holes in each piece and when I say I drilled the holes I delegated that task to someone with a drill um, but I got that done first because obviously once you've done all your mixed media on top you don't want to be drilling through all that. So did that first and then covering each piece in a couple of layers of gesso kind of more like one and a half layers but obviously I needed the gesso down there first I am going to gesso around the edges of each piece as well not that I'm actually going to do anything to the edges but just so like if they're hanging up or whatever they're not that wooden color at the sides kind of thing just having that nice white around the sides so once I've done all my gessoing and the gesso is dry, I'm going to start off doing a load of stenciling just to add lots of lovely texture and stuff to the background. I've got this heart stencil, which, oh, I do not know where that's from or what brand it is. Sorry about that. But I'm using the Prima paper texture paste for the heart stencil. This stuff is lovely. It just creates the most beautiful texture. It also smells kind of nice as well, especially when you get the heat tool on it. It's like this really nice, you know, sometimes with these things, you get kind of a gross chemical smell or something. It's it's almost sweet and fruity. But anyways, so yes, do, do we, blah, 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 blah. paper paste. That's what I'm trying to say there. Uh, I got my paper paste from Thompson's Craft Supplies. Don't know if she's got any in at the moment, but I will link um, if you are interested in getting some. And then once I've done all the heart stenciling, obviously I'm going to do a bit on the heart itself as well. I'm going to take the butterfly stencil from the kit and then use just simple modelling paste um, for that, just so we've got different textures on each piece kind of thing. I'm not completely drying this paper paste before I start doing my butterfly stenciling. I'm just drying it a little bit so that I can put that butterfly stencil down and not worry about smooshing any of the hearts, which actually one of them I thought I dried but hadn't, so I do smoosh the hearts a little bit. But it doesn't really matter because once the whole thing is complete, you can't really see the shapes that well. Um, you can kind of just, if you look closely, you can be like, oh, there's hearts and butterflies. But when you stand back, it's just texture in general. So yes, just adding a few of those butterflies with my modelling paste. I need some more modelling paste, actually. I've just remembered that pot is getting pretty low. Um, but yes, it is a high density stuff, that one as well. So it's really good for projects like this. Again, for adding all your texture and whatnot. Then I'm going to obviously dry all that before I do the next step. With it being so cold at the moment, everything is taking forever to dry. I've said this ad nauseum in the past, but my craft room is freezing. It doesn't have any central heating in there. So drying things just takes so long. Even with the heat tool, it's just uh, it's becoming a bit of a pain to do mixed media in the winter season. Anyways, so for colouring both uh, pieces, I'm kind of uh, creating both pieces together. I'm going to hang them separately but they're kind of created as one piece, if that makes sense. But I thought I would have this hanging up in my, well, it's not my new craft room. I'm extending into an extra room and it's going to be painted white and mint, surprisingly enough. <laughs> Those of you who know me are going to be like, oh, what a shock. Why a mint, Grace? Really? Because I just love mint. So yes, um, I am mixing up just acrylic paint. I've got white, which is just a cheap one, and the Hobbycraft, well, it's cheap as well, but it's, I know the brand, is the mint um, Hobbycraft paint. Um, when I did it around the edges, it was a little darker than I wanted. I wanted more of a pass, really, really pastel light mint. So I added more white and I'm going in there and then I'm gonna add more white again and go in again. And I'm, to paint it, I'm not like, painting it in a normal way I'm stippling the paint on my arm did get very tired I'm not gonna lie <laughs> doing all this but again it just creates such a lovely texture when you stipple it with a brush like that um, and then I am just going to go in with just just white kind of thing to lighten up those center areas and then um, I'm going to go back again add more of the mint paint dark mint paint 
mint paint there we go to darken up the edges um so yeah we've got sort of a nice gradient of color what i kind of wanted was for there to be no areas of absolute solid one color kind of thing so it's all those different shades of mint are really really mixed in together and yeah i'm kind of happy with the result i think on camera it's coming up ever so slightly lighter than it actually is in real life i think that's due to my camera lights causing quite a lot of if, a bit of exposure kind of thing but it's not much darker just a little smidge bit but yes as i said i'm just darkening up the edges there putting more mint in my little mix there and then again dry i have sped up this bit by the way just a lot more than usual i thought you'd like to see the whole process of the painting to see what i did but if i had it at my usual speed which is about two and a half times then we would have been watching that for a good like 10 minutes or so but yes okay once that was dry again took an age to dry it um i'm gonna add some more texture with this um what's it called glass bead texture gel it is our winsor and newton it's basically gloss gel medium with loads of teeny weeny tiny little micro beads in um so i wanted to use that and it's really really pretty as well and it just catches the light really nicely i added some white acrylic into it because i wanted it to be slightly opaque on the finished product because obviously that the texture gel itself as i said it's gloss gel medium so it will dry transparent unless you add something to it i did add a little of my frosted mint paint which is by do crafts but that made it too mint so I went back and added more white, more texture gel, but I've also added some of the little Prima glass beads to it as well to make it more, I don't know, beady. <laughs> lots and lots of texture, basically. And those Prima beads are bigger than the ones that are in the gel kind of thing. So this stencil I'm using is a Tim Holtz one, just a lovely damask. Obviously with how thick that gel is with all those beads, it doesn't stencil perfectly, but you get a, a good hint of the damask kind of thing so i'm just going to go in with that just a little word on for the sake of the environment if you're using something like this anything with little plastic beads little glass beads whatever do try not to wash it down the sink because it is not good if it goes you know down the sink and into the sea and stuff if i hadn't colored the stuff i would have just scooped it back into the pot but if it's colored there's only a little bit left and i'm not going to use it i just kind of scoop it into like a little tissue or something and throw it away again i know that's not ideal for the environment but it's much better than washing it down the sink Think. so yes anyways i'll just step down off my soapbox now it's just one of those things i've seen people do it in videos i'm like don't don't wash the glass beads down the sink it's so bad for the environment anyways moving on from this point on i'm basically just embellishing the whole thing pretty much using things from the kit i'm not sure if i use i use a couple of things from my stash but that's more mediums rather than objects so to speak so i've got the beautiful uh, mint colored lace and i'm just having that across there and um, when it's dry i do cut that lace between the heart and its frame so they can separate but i wanted them wanted it to be you know go across in the same place kind of thing um and then yeah i'm just adding like that little fussy cut floral cluster that i did in last week's project and didn't actually use i've got um the little doilies i'm choosing a little sticker there i wanted to put a quote in the center of a heart and then also a quote on the frame because i'm gonna as i said i'm probably gonna, ha gonna have them hanging separately but also maybe sometimes maybe i'll move them i don't know but i wanted like them to be able to be separate as well as together kind of thing so the two favorite quotes that i've seen on this um particular in this kit in all the little bits and pieces there's um the quote that's i think it's winnie the pooh you know you are braver than you believe and stronger than you that one and then um the other one sorry on, on my screen it's really blurry at the moment because i haven't saved it in hd yet but that quote that's at the bottom left something about no one ever made a difference by being like everyone else and i think this is just a good thing to have especially in a place where i'm going to try and be creative um because i do i do have that tendency like a lot of us do to judge myself against other people on youtube and other people on instagram and constantly doubt myself and be like why i'm not as good as them what can i do to be as and i need to just do my own work and that's what i've kind of done with mixed media as well when i started out i was trying so hard to be like the mixed media giants you know like finnevere and all those kind of people i was just trying so hard to make stuff like they make and then i just realized i just need to do my own thing not try and be like someone else so yeah that quote was actually kind of meaningful for me to use kind of thing so as you saw i'm putting down all clusters of things um i don't know how well you can see but there is um some white tool 
behind that phrase in the center and behind that flower cluster just to the right of it um at that stage as well i added all those other flowers i was going to add another quote or another big embellishment cluster towards the top and then i just thought that would be too much and i didn't want to overdo it because i do have a tendency to do that sometimes so i just stuck with using all the beautiful flowers from this kit and just putting those on there and then i'm going to add some white splatters because of course i needed white splatters this is very much a project that was about about me and about all the things that I love so pastel colors and mint and lace and tulle and butterflies and splatters so white splatters with distress stain in picket fence and then just a little bit of gold Heidi swap just a teensy bit because I love gold so I just wanted to add that little bit of gold on there and then I'm going to finish off with a butt ton of Nouveau Jewel Drops in Seabreeze another one of my favorite products and it just adds the most I've said this a million times, but they look like little dew, dew drops, you know, in the morning on the flowers and stuff um, on projects. So I just wanted to add a load of those just to look really pretty. And there we go. I have finished. I'm really proud of this one. Not going to lie. I just, it's my favorite color. So that's probably why I like it a lot. But anyways, um, I have no idea if any of these kits are still available, but I will link the kit section of the shop for you to check out. And of course, all the other supplies that I have used that I can find links for. Thank you so much for watching this video. The new kit, the February kit will be out next week, towards the end of next week. And I will hopefully have a video of that for you very, very soon. Other than that, uh, please leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Chat to me in the comments and I am going. Thank you so much again. Bye-bye!